How are you doing tonight? You driving down the road, down the highway? Well, let us uh, fill these airwaves with a nice conversation. Our next guest is the top gifter for the night. At a whopping 20 gifted subs right now. That's Tardolf skipping the line. Chose the, uh, chose the trans lamp tonight. Tardolf, Tardolf, welcome to the stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, so, uh, hello, hello. Let me turn here. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, uh who are you? All, I am, um, I am a, uh, Swedish person. Uh -huh. So, uh, first of all, it's 6 a.m. here. Um, oh, early riser or a degenerate? Which one? Uh, degenerate. I've Hell yeah, me that. too. <laughs> me too. Okay. Uh, my, my people. Uh, uh, my XLR cable, cable to the SM7B is broken, so I'm using oh. a headset mic. It doesn't sound bad, uh, to be honest. No, that's because it's in my mouth. So it's basically <laughs> welcome, Chad. It can't take, welcome it, to the it inside. <laughs> it can't take up any other noise. Uh, but yeah, but I'm sitting uh, editing um, a podcast that I do. Um, so I forgot to sleep. Basically, um, <laughs> <laughs> happens. I've been there too. Yeah. Um, so first of all. Uh, my main issue is, uh, it's not an issue, really. Is where, where does the corn come from? Oh, the corn! Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a good question. The corn uh, comes from sort of this, uh, this vibe. Um, we, this is a long story. Uh, Dylan Burnsers that stuck it through. Welcome, I still don't know what to call you people. Um, <laughs> hippie, hippie dippers, uh, welcome. And uh, Arson, so, so you, wow, you got, into the, burns. <laughs> you got into the juicy corn lore immediately. Uh, so corn lore, um, the long, <laughs> long version, since this is what we're doing, the longer version <clears throat> is uh, uh, I saw um, Shark uh, reply to Dylan earlier today saying uh, Rippy Dippy, and I thought that was fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> It, 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 if my if my if my last name was Burns, I would call them arsonists. Ooh, I'm, I'm just, that's pretty good. Like, that's just uh, that's pretty good. That's just a given for me. Uh, um. Anyway, uh, 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 uh corn. corn, 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 corn. Um. So early on in the channel, we had uh sort of several corn things happen. Um. There was a video shared in no, <laughs> in, no in no particular order. There was a video shared of the guy, uh, and I'm sure someone can share it in chat. Of a guy driving by uh, uh, a cornfield and going, "Woo, corn! Yeah, fuck yeah, corn! Woo!" And then he drives by some wheat and he goes, bleh, "Wheat, fuck bleh, wheat!" Oh yeah, bleh. I've seen that yeah. video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, so we we were joking about that, and then one of um, my early first subscribers. Um, and someone who used to donate a little bit, um, uh, Hattie was at the time, um, is from Nebraska, and uh, <laughs> her dad made a, Nebr a video about Nebraska corn that was like a cringe oh, dad no. YouTube video, so that we watched that, oh, that was no. funny. And then that same person commissioned Sarah, I think, was it a commission? I believe um, of of essentially uh, an orc with corn pasties on its nipples, like a D and D orc, uh, sort of like think think uh, sl uh, slave Leia meets an orc meets a stripper, uh, modern day stripper meets uh, uh, the corn meme, um, all of those things. Uh, and, that is uh, law. Yep. Uh, and then we had, uh, someone made because, a corn emote. Because you, <laughs> because you do have a corn suit. Yes, right? I do have, well, th it's coming in. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the corn emote got made and Cobby was born. Um, uh, okay. and so now that's the name of the little emote guy is Cobby. 
Uh, and uh, which is technically this is not intentional. Technically, Kabi is trans because we've always used he/him pronouns. But apparently, the biologically female corns are the uh, yellow corn parts. That's the female part of the corn, I guess. Um, I don't know. Part. I don't know if I regret uh, regret this question no, or not. It's, it's but awesome. but yeah. but yeah, you, um, go on. I'm, I'm filling space in your brain that could be used for survival knowledge or something. You know, something that could really help. Um, <laughs> but, but nope. Uh, we're, we're filling in these fucking potholes in your brain with, with yeah. pure corn. Um, and so, and so, or making the potholes, I guess, in this analogy, who knows? Um, yeah, it, 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 it kind it of fall, fucks out it because, all, it all uh, falls apart. because, uh, I'm editing a pod in Swedish. No one of you can listen to it. So it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> but, out, do you want to uh, shout out your Swedish podcast? I'm fine with that. <laughs> shout out your Swedish uh, podcast real quick. Yeah. I, 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 you can't pay yeah, me 20 called, subscriptions and then not also pa- shout out your Swedish All right. Podcast. So if you're Swedish, there is a podcast. <laughs> or speak Swedish. Is, or are or interested speak, in or learning. Or understand it. Or understand it. Or uh, in the... Uh, yeah, in the process of learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a podcast called Alla Dessa Jävla. Wow. It's, uh, yeah. Go- it's Google that one. San- <laughs> yeah, it's sanctioned by Behind the Bastards. Like, I am allowed uh, to use their format. So basically, I do Behind the Bastards uh, in a Swedish format. I don't know what uh, that is. Oh, you don't know Behind the Bastards? No, I'm an uncultured That's the best person. pod in the world. That's... Uh, yeah, behind the bastards is things you uh, regret to listen to for a lot of reasons. Um, it's a really good podcast by Robert Evans. Okay. Um, and uh, since I am a history student and possibly next year an archae- archaeological student, uh, I um, uh, I got into that podcast because. It's a lot of personal history about a lot of awful dudes. <laughs> so it's... Oh. Um, oh. Um, so basically I what I did... Basically what I did was... I con- contacted Robert Evans uh-huh. and said... Yo, I want to do a Swedish version of this. And uh, he gave me the permission for it. So okay. if you know Swedish or, you know read it or trying to learn it or whatever, just go to Spotify and find it, which is basically a translation of Behind the Bastards, uh, but it's more all these devils, in a sense. Um, But it's basically the same thing. We just talk about awful, awful people. And um, (laughs) Who's uh, the first, or who's, I guess, what's the one you're doing now? Uh, the one we're doing uh, right now, we're doing an uh, doing a two or three parter episode of the Spartacus riots. Uh, so that would be uh, <laughs> Crassus would be the bad guy there, mm. uh, which is a R- Roman cons- uh, consul that uh, you know you know how how the USA is uh, uh, built up as a political entity, yeah. right? So you got the Senate and all that. Mm-hmm. A- and do you know the history of your fire departments? Like that was just criminal gangs uh, that, you know, ran around them. Yeah, and they said, essentially, yeah. they essentially like bountied people's burning homes, right? They were like, well, yeah, we'll exactly. this out that, if you... That, yeah, they, yeah. yeah that, that, that's what Crassus did <laughs> uh, while sitting in the Senate in Rome. Oh. So basically, whenever Rome... Uh, was caught on fire. He would send his fire brigade, brigade, and they would go there, and they would tell the person that either you pay us to put out this fire, or you sell us the burnt down property. So that's how he bought uh, estates, basically. Wow, um, that's a... he's a he's a massive what asshole. What a fucking slumlord. <laughs> <dude. laughs> yeah, but he's also a slave owner. Yeah, and he's also the one that fights the slaves in the Spartacus riot. So what we're doing, the first episode that I'm editing now, is just establishing what 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 is Rome. <laughs> so basically, I had three guests on that doesn't know anything about Rome, and it's like I'm really trying to trim it down so that people can bear to listen to me like <laughs> that's interesting. Like, but 
the episode we did before that one was with an, uh, I did with a nurse. Uh, well, so you that just have is, like some person on, and you explain a concept to them. Uh, yeah, we talked about a thing called the Dalton Shield. Have you heard about that one? The Dalton Shield. Dalcom. Falcon Shield. Why does that sound no, familiar? Dal Dalcom. Dalcom. Wait, why did the Falcon Shield? Oh no, I was thinking of the movie with because you talk about Rome. I was thinking of oh the yeah, eagle. yeah yeah yeah. I was yeah. thinking of the eagle. Oh yeah That's yeah yeah. <laughs> this, this is an entire different <laughs> yeah, thing. Okay. But yeah, yeah. but 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 I think your your girlfriend that is uh, kind of you know out there discussing progressive things. Yeah. Uh, would be interesting in knowing the story. Oh, okay. uh, it's kind of disturbing that you don't know this story. <laughs> it's uh, uh, what what is it called the Dalcon Shield. It's a like I'm gonna see if I can. It's a contraceptive uh, intrauterine device, and it, it's an IUD. Uh, 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 in intrauterine. Yeah, it's fucked up. Contraceptive. It's design. fucked. It's fucked 70s up. and 80s? Oh, boy. Oh, no, this I'm is so much worse. I'm looking at the worse. visual of it. <laughs> yeah, this is so much worse than the Wikipedia article. The Dalton because I did, Because I did some actual digs on this one. This is horrible. This is... Th this thing would dislodge. And I know just, just saying that word is fucking... And move around in your body. Mm, I made my pee pee uh, hurt. You know, it did that. It did that sort of sympathetic uh, pain thing where you just go Ew, and you feel a little icky. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, writing I, it down I, in the chat so people can Google it. But the, the Dalton Shield, Dalton the basically, the, the 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 basic idea of it is, it is an IUC, but it's horrible, and people are still suffering from it. And I I think it's kind of important to talk about it. Uh, uh, because we, you know, we're talking about, you know, abortion rights right now mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it kind of falls into that, Ooh, you know, no how we, how we, tr how we treat it. And I am not shitting you when the doctor found this one attached to a woman's kidney. And it's like, how did it the got kidney? Yes, uh, yes, it got it, up it, into the kidney. Yeah, it floated away. Um, in the body because it wasn't attached. So you can see if you see the design of it, uh, you can see that you know it can't go downwards, right? It can only uh, go so up. It can, so it can only go up or out the side. So it's um, insane. So it, that's basically what it did, right? Of course. So because like especially if you're because it's not attached or anything like. Yeah, is and it's not attached. It, it's like it's not attached to the tubes. Uh, Wait, but it has a string on it still. Yeah. So All the, the, time? the idea, the, the idea How of do you it, get it out? the idea, the idea of it was that you were supposed to be able to pull it out. Right? No, it'll. But, no! but 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 what they did, what they did was that they used uh, wrapped uh, uh, wires. So instead of one, you know, solid material that is the rope so to speak uh -huh. they actually roped it which is a problem because that opens, you can't sterilize that so basically what they did was giving an expressway for all kind of sepsis <laughs> right into the uh -huh. uterus <laughs> uh -huh. how <laughs> many I people know. got these oh god so many people and you know what happened the usa the ftc I think it's a FTC. They actually uh, shut it down, um, and uh, the rest of the stock was sold in Africa. So yeah, we still have this one around, and we ha we still have problems with it. And the people that made it, which you know was an engineer, so it was not you know a doctor. Oh. It was an engineer. An engineer, you say? <laughs> Wait, made this one, <laughs> and then they engineers sold it. don't have any knowledge in reproductive health. Pretty much. Okay, but, okay, I, I but what about uh, just like okay, but okay, 
But what about so, just like regular guys on Facebook? Do you think they uh, have any medical knowledge? Uh, huh? A lot of them are engineers. <laughs> That's the problem <laughs> with it. <laughs> um, I did. The, the thing with this thing, the reason why I bring it up for you now, and I know my parties in Swedish, you can't listen to it, but there are uh, uh, episodes of Behind the Bastards about it, and it tells you a story so fucking horrifying that it's... I was like, I have never heard something so horrifying. So when, so when we talk about, uh, you know, female sexual health, and that it's really important that we understand how history works on this um, and how it has looked like. So when we realized that this was dangerous to white women, <laughs> we are shifted to black women. Of course. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, Classic. profit. Classic. Uh, yeah, yeah, because the, FTC can't, because the FTC can't control in Africa. Mm. And the people that brought it to Africa was Christian evangelicals of course because they believe in an idea that is that the earth is overpopulated right so we so they brought the the demon device to make sure that they didn't get babies even though we know by science that the demon advice actually might have caused that more people got pregnant so but you know, we, because they thought they were protected, but they, they were. yeah, they thought they were protected, but weren't. So the, instead, they got the sepsis pregnancy, and <laughs> oh my god, do not Wikipedia that. <laughs> uh, that is horrifying. But I just thought that what I wanted to do uh, tonight on your stream was yes, when people say that you know you know, when when women say that you know if this were a thing for men uh we oh, yeah. wouldn't have you know the side effects oh yeah but all right so yeah the pill yeah. the pill the pill is a mild one compared to what the fuck the dalcom shield was <laughs> um i have never been so fucking horrified uh reading about something and it only gets worse and the thing is i end the swedish episode with the nurse uh with yeah we we Right, so you were here talking about contraceptives, uh, and she was like, yeah, so, yeah. I was here to start talking about a genocide, because that is what it turned into. And it's fucking horrifying. <laughs> it's just... That is a... Uh, uh, so I urge you... so it, fascinating. It, it, it's those kind of it's kind of it's what's like, fascinating with the Dalkan Shield is why haven't we heard about it? It's so yeah. it's a brutal, right? So I asked my mom uh, we have some relatives in the USA uh -huh. and I asked her uh, to ask her relatives in the USA if any one of those have had the Dalkan Shield and I had two confirmed cases uh, so I'm trying to create an interview with those two Ooh, and see what their experience was, uh, because cool. that will be cool. But that one I will do in English, obviously, because they live in the un United States. But so, but uh, what I want to say is that yeah, uh, this debate, uh, this debate stream uh, community. We stretched to other countries as well, but we tried. To, I think that we, from the smaller nations, <laughs> tried to focus more on active, you know, yeah. action. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, and, and, and I want to say that to everyone uh, that listen now, because you're in America and Sweden comes up fucking every other day in your fucking country because in of the uh, you, the socialism. Yeah, all the social that, media. Yeah, that has been dismantled. We have an actual fucking threat of fascism, and I want you to know that. Now, we have an election in September, and if that doesn't go well, oh boy, <laughs> that oh boy. is bad. <laughs> welcome, that is bad. Welcome, 
to uh that would be okay. worse and i want to just as a final thing before i leave mm -hmm. uh, i want to tell you why that is worse than trump's america oh, that is because in a parliamentary democracy uh you vote for stuff right so you vote for legislation you vote for uh things like that so that you, sounds you don't nice it does until you have fascists in there I suppose, because yeah. that means that they can put out bills that is put through the par parliament without us the people even well, knowing about it. well i guess i guess that sounds nicer than what we have what sounds nicer nicer is uh, uh us using all this technology to all of us have a voice but you know, yeah well. yeah because what what i want to say at least as a comparison is that you have th these various levels that you have to vote the bill through right mm -hmm. so if you go federal level you can't just you know push through something through everything yeah uh, you they, can do they it can the set they level. can set the they can set the floor they can't set the seat or they can set the ceiling they can't set the floor i guess um, yeah uh, and but you can cases. do that you can do that on state level yeah. So that that would be, but imagine if your state level legislature is your state, that is basically where we're at. Yeah, I guess. You're and right. if we get and if we and if we get fascists in, we are fucked. Like we are properly fucked. So this is not a good year for us in Sweden. So if you ever ever talk politics, um. Choose any other country or social democracy than ours. We have a real problem. Like, it, it, prove social democracy in any other country. Don't use Sweden, please. Thank you. And thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Uh, and I urge you all to look up Behind the Bastards and um, about the Dalcon Shield so you can learn why, why Jake's, um, why Sarah were fights so hard on Twitter for women's rights because <laughs> it's a lot on Twitter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot on Twitter. I have followed her for a long yeah. time, uh, and, and it was way before I knew about this fucking thing. Yeah. So, uh, but that 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 read through that I did, I did research for a week on that fucking thing before I did a podcast episode, and yeah. Support, support whatever Sarah is saying. Yes, I love, but get fuck all shuds. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a good conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I wish you well. I wish you good luck in the in the election. Uh, and you yeah. can. Uh, uh, we'll take some of that back when hopefully it goes well for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys around. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.